yesterday. So speaking of Dorian Virtue, I got the call today. So what they told me in terms of like, when I ask, I go through all of my mini decks and I'm like, okay, you guys, what deck should I do for them today? You know, cause I always go to a deck every magic Monday. I don't always use cards when I do my readings. If I do a card reading, I always use cards. If I do an empathic reading, then I don't always pull cards. Most of the time I actually don't, we'll talk. I may pull cards at the end for clarification on yes or no questions, but mostly it's just a empathic where we're sharing information. But I was being pulled today to go back to the life purpose deck. And I don't know if you guys remember, but there was one Magic Monday where I pulled pretty much a card after card after card for all of you guys on the life purpose deck because I wanted to get to as many readings as I could. Now they were more quick hits and they weren't as in depth, even though the mini ones are still mini readings, but um, that's what I'm feeling called to today. This also stems from the fact that I had, um, I had a couple of readings yesterday that were amazing. Oh my gosh, they were amazing sessions. Um, I took Saturday off to go down to a festival with a friend of mine in the Valley, the Rainbows Festival. And uh, we went down for that uh, with a friend of mine. And then I worked on Sunday instead of Saturday. One of the things I'm noticing and why I know things have definitely shifted the energy for sure is because my Saturdays are booked. They are, I work every single Saturday now doing readings, whereas before I definitely could work much more during the week at any other times, but you know, people are, are home and they're wanting to have their readings. So yesterday I was doing a life purpose reading and it was awesome. And we had a really good time with life purpose and what came out of it, um, what came out of the reading yesterday with the life purpose was so like, it was so simple and it was so true, but it caught the human part of us, right? Me and the client it caught us off guard because it was like a uh, duh, right? <laughs> and what it was is my client has traveled her whole life. She loves traveling. She's like spent a lot of money traveling. She works to save money so she can travel. She's done this her whole entire life. And she really has had some changes in her life, major changes in her life. So she came to me because she's really feeling as though the, um, she feels as though her ground beneath her feet is unstable right now because it's been so many change upon change upon change. And she's wondering what her life purpose is. So I ended up, we talked about a lot of things. We did the reading. And in the end of it, I was like, hey, let's just pull from the life purpose card, right? So that's what I did. And it was really interesting. And the card that came up that said, your life purpose is travel. And we both were like, that can't be a life purpose. <laughs> like that is a joy. That is a hobby. But how do you make money from traveling, right? Unless you were actually in the travel industry. So I thought that was pretty, inter pretty interesting. And it kind of reminded me that spiritually, um, you know, spiritually, we have a life purpose, right? Our physical, we have a job and they don't always seem to line up. We're very lucky if they line up together, we are able to manifest it lining up together, but you know, it doesn't always happen that way. And it really made me think about, it made me think all night last night about this concept of purpose, passion, money, rhythm, all of these things. My head was just a jumble last night as I was thinking about everything. So I decided that I was going to pull life purpose cards today, and I'm going to try to pull as many as I can. Okay. So it is 1139. We're going to see what we can get through and we're going to do this. And Kelly Gusta says, turn, turn, turn is by the birds. Thank you, Kelly. I don't know. They just sing to me. So it's by the birds. Okay, you guys. So it's not the Beatles. It is by the birds. And um, I would love, I'm going to be listening to that today. I know I'm getting to it. Candy, I'm getting to it. I promise. I'm scratching my nose. I got bunny nose. Um, but we'll be listening to that. Okay. Okay. So Hitomi, keep track of me, please. I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to just kind of mention names. But keep track, um, you know, I don't necessarily need you so much to pull for me today um, as much as I need you to keep track of me and make sure that I'm not missing anybody. 
You guys, I have trained myself that when Hitomi puts a comment in, I have trained myself to make sure that I zero in on her because I know she's here to support me and she's supporting you. So that's why if you ever need me or you want me, send the message to Hitomi because it's just kind of how I've managed to train so I can filter out and I can do what I need to do and focus for the, the time that we're together. Okay. Okie dokie. So here we go. So I am going to go up and I'm just going to kind of start picking names that I can. I can't go all the way back here, but I'm going to try to go up here. So Deanne, you're first. Okay. So we're going to go to Deanne really quick. I'm going to go through and I'm just going to pull the life purpose cards. Again, this is a Dorian Virtue deck. It's an old deck had around forever and we're going to see. Okay. Ready? Okay. <laughs> so Diane, uh, uh, Deanne, Diane, Deanne, you got spiritual teacher. So great card, spiritual teacher card. You can see that this is the card. This is kind of what I'm doing right now, which is, you know, you've got all religions, you've got all, you've got Christianity, you've got Eastern in here. We've got, you know, yoga, we've got Jewish, we've got everything's in there. So really it's about for you, life purpose is really not about focusing in on any one particular religion, any one particular theory, but being able to study, learn, grow, do. So then when you come around people, Deanne, and you're able to have these conversations about the, um, you know, about this seen versus the unseen manifestation, all of these other things, you can have those spiritual teacher conversations with them to help guide them in ways that they can move towards their authentic selves. They can move towards their best life. Okay. One of the really interesting things about being a spiritual teacher is that we have, and I say we, because this is one of my life purposes as well, Deanne, for sure, is we have to learn to just kind of moderate and modulate your energy because it is not our job to tell people what to believe. It is not our job to tell them how to believe. It is our job to learn and share our beliefs in a way that opens a mind, opens a heart, opens the crown chakra and allows them to process and understand what their own belief system is. So to be a spiritual teacher, Deanne, is very much to be a mirror. It's to be really in pono, in congruency with yourself. So then you can mirror to others what they most need to see in themselves. Okay. So that's the card. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars, spiritual teacher. Okay, great. Okay, that was Deanne. So now I'm going to go to um, Amy Davis King. And I know I'm going to miss people because I can't go back to the other comments, but I'm going to do the best I very can on this. And Hitomi will help me. Okay. Okay, Amy Davis King, let's see what we got for you. I'm going to have to talk less on these if I'm going to get to you guys. So school. Okay. Amy Davis team King life purpose card is school. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school. So girlfriend, I know that you were talking about having some motivational issues in the past magic Monday and that, you know, that you are really your primary focus right now. And your primary life purpose is to be a mom. And you are an amazing mom. You are absolutely stunning at it. You are great at it. Um, but maybe there's some more that you need to learn, okay? Maybe there is a passion of yours, an excitement of yours, an interest of yours, something that makes you curious that you can learn about. Now, school does not have to mean a building with four walls, okay? Um, school can be a book, okay? It can just be reading something, asking your team. Uh, I know you talk to your team all the time, asking your spirit team, guide me to a book, you know, go to the goodwill, Amy, there's like so many uh, books down there, so many great spiritual books that are just kind of random, that you know, you can pick up for a dollar or two, I got a fat niche hand the other day, I got another stuff. So, um, so learning, okay, but your card is for you school card is learning right now. So do a little bit of more learning. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, let's see who else we've got. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go to Lauren. Uh, Lauren's here. I'm going to pull a life purpose card for you, honey bunch. You should have got the school card. 
<laughs> Miss Teacher, Miss Am Amazing Elementary School Teacher. Ah, <laughs> life purpose. Oh, Lauren, I don't know if this holds true or not for you. I'm just going to trust that the message from the guides is the correct message for you, but it's saying career change, okay? You are embarking upon a career that brings you the joy, abundance, and the desire you deserve. So I know you love your job. I know you're raising your babies, and I know that you are not in a position to be able to do a massive career change right now, but keep this in mind. Sorry, let me get a drink. <coughs> oh, bro, keep this in mind as the whispers of your soul comes up. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Just be curious about the whispers of your soul and see where it leads you. Career change doesn't have to mean today or this week or this year, even this month. It could just mean listening to the whispers of your soul because you may have a second career after doing your teaching that you've been doing for a while, or it might definitely be advancement where instead of being a teacher, you go into leadership, okay? So good, okie dokie. Um, let's see, Kelly Gustus, we're going to pick you next. Okay. Okay, Kelly, life purpose card. <laughs> time to decide, time to decide, make a decision based on your heart's truest desires. I'm going to put that up there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful imagery, Kelly. <laughs> Wait, my throat chakra is closing big time. Hang on. <laughs> mm, excuse me, you guys. I'm getting a major throat clearing. Okay, time to decide, Kelly. If you can see it, it's a bubble. And this, like, I wish I could show you this card. It's a bubble in there. And it's woman, and she's inside this swirl. And it's just this total swirl of a bubble. And it's really crazy because inside of this bubble are numbers. There's just a whole bunch of numbers in here. So it's, and, and, uh, um, and math and, you know, 9753 and all these other kind of things with these swirl of numbers. So lots of choices, lots of opportunity, lots of places you can go, lots of decisions that you can take. And I know you, girlfriend, you have thought and thought and thought and thought about every possibility. Plus you have thought about what the next step is, how you're going to work it out, how you can get there. You'd be amazing on the game of Survivor. That's all I can tell you. You and that brain of yours has thought about every possible scenario, every possible step, and every way that you're going to get there, how you're going to get there, how you're going to do it, what you're going to do. So ask yourself, what's holding you back? What's truly holding you back? I'm not going to say it here in public. You and I both know what's holding you back. And then how can you get over that? And how can you get through that? Because what the guides want you to know right now is girlfriend, Limbo is not good anymore. It's time to decide. Okay. It's, it really is. It's time for action at some point. Okay. And I know that may not be today again, just like Lauren, it doesn't mean that it's today. It doesn't mean it's this week. It doesn't even mean this month. Okay. It doesn't mean immediate action. It just means that there's going to have to be action at some point. Okay. So thinking is good, but doing is also required. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay. Awesome. Okie dokie. Let's see who else is not. Um, so uh, Candy, we're going to go to Candy right now. So Candy, you're the next one. Let's see what this says on the life purpose card. Healer. So Candy, life purpose card healer, right? And it's funny because it has the doctor right here, but a healer comes in many, many, many forms. So you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that with you, except for I am going to say real quickly, remember this term healer, although in this card, they put this in terms of medical, which I don't particularly care for. I wish it was more broader. So I'm going to remind you that a healer can be a healing. You can bring healing to, into absolutely any form of career that you want to put it into. Ken Oliver is a healer with his art, right? Of what he does. Deborah is a healer 
with the way she nurtures and takes care of people. You know, it's, uh, you know, Lauren is a healer of the way she nourishes and takes care of the children in her care every single day. You are a healer and the way you actually do therapy sessions, Candy, when people come into your door at your store and you help people. So just know though, that they're telling me very primarily that your job is a healer and it is to help others heal. So, but remember we heal ourselves first, we give energy to ourselves first, and then we heal. We have the energy and the time and the capacity to heal others. Okay. Awesome. Hitomi says, can you guys say hello today so we can see all of your names? Great. Okay. Susan, I know that you're here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for you right now. Life purpose card, travel. So this is the card my friend got yesterday. So this is really interesting, Susan. So life purpose, travel. So your life purpose involves traveling. That's really interesting. Um, honey, I'm getting for you that you have a whisper of your soul that you're actually being called uh, you are being called to some of the Tibetan uh, shamanism uh, areas. You're actually being called to go check out some of the monasteries and some of the Tibetan places in Tibet, um, Peru, Bolivia, uh, those areas. And so if that is a call of your soul, just, you know, listen to it if you can. I know that that's a big trip and a big deal and a lifetime thing and a once in a lifetime and all that kind of stuff. So the hows might be really, really, really difficult for you on how to pull that all together, how to have the money, the time, the energy, the, the person to come with you, because I can feel that you don't want to do it alone. Although I'm telling you right now, a solo trip to do those things um, for you to go sit in meditation, to go do that pulling of your soul might actually be a might actually be the most healing and helpful way for you to do that instead of trying to do it with another person. So travel, my friend, travel, right? Great card. So that's what you have. Okay. So um, let's see. I did Amy. I got Lauren. Sherry. Sherry, you're here. So it's time to do you. Sensitivity. Sherry, this is a great card for you. This is absolutely you. Sensitivity. Look at that beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful picture. I love that there's diversity in these cards. These cards are really old and I love that there's been diversity in them um, running through them. That makes me really, really happy. You are becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly. So uh, Sherry, I feel that as well. And I felt that in some of our readings ashore, um, as you continue to do your own um, meditations, your own listening, your own quiet time, your own practice of being able to touch in with your team of your guides and your angels, you are getting more sensitive and it is really coming in. Now I can tell you guys, when you first start getting your sensitivities, when your gifts, right now, remember we all have six senses. It's just, do we believe it? Um, do we, you know, do we allow it as a belief system? But in my belief system, all human beings have six, six senses. Just some of us are better at it than others. And those of us that actually were born in past, we do have a bit of a different nervous system. And we're about 15% of the population. And we do have a different nervous system than the others. So we do have a bit of a more sensitive advantage. Our gifts are actually just more pronounced. Um, in there, uh, you can find out about your gifts mostly in a chart reading to uh, my friend Denise. She does um, astrological charts and she did my chart and she's like, Jen, you just need to tell people that you are, um, you have it in your charts that you're psychic and you have been your whole entire life. You are destined for this. And so I thought that was interesting. Um, so sensitivities. So just know that you are getting more sensitive for sure, which means you may need to change your diet, which is what I had to do. Um, you may need to change your body movement, which is what I had to do. You may have to take more baths and be in water, which is what I had to do. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not saying, Sherry, that you are becoming me in any way, shape or form, because only me can be me. Only you can be you. But uh, I can tell you that the more you lean into and accept, and you guys, this is not just for Sherry, the more you lean into and accept your intuitive gifts 
the more sensitive your instrument becomes. That is your body, that is your chakras, your meridians, your nadis, your sensing um, uh, um, sensitivities. The more sensitive you become on those things, the more you're going to change. And then when you begin to change from these sensitivities, it can be very scary to the people who you live with. It can be hard on your partners. It can be hard on your best friends. It can be hard on your children. It can be hard on other people because you are changing and they feel the vibration of the change. And so if you're becoming more sensitive and doing these things, you need to make sure that you open up your throat chakra and you are able to express to those people around you in a loving kindness look, I don't know what's going on, but I'm becoming so much more sensitive and I require, like that word require, I require a little bit more alone time. I require a little bit longer bath. I require um, a salad right now. And maybe I don't require as much red meat. Um, I may require something else. And I'm not saying that becoming vegan or vegetarian is part of it, but I have noticed that my food tolerances have definitely changed. And as I continue to do this work and reading for others, my food sensitivities, my food, what I can put into my body and what my body can hold is becoming more and more sensitive. Okay. So, okie dokie, there's that one. So, um, let's see. Okay. Um, Karen, Karen, here we go. Uh, it is your turn for one right now. So talk to your angels, okay? Karen, duh, this is an easy one. I don't even have to go into a whole lot of a reading for you. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Um, I know Karen, you guys, Karen is an amazing crystal healer. She is a crystal whisperer, I swear. She has crystals and stones all around her, all these vibrations. She sells them on her website. It's amazing. K Karen, if you want to drop your website in the chat to let people check it out, I have no problems with that whatsoever. Um, we are a community of support and we are, you know, we are an artistic creative community. If you want to do that, when I tell you it's fine, anybody can put that in to be checked out. But talk to your angels, love. And this isn't just for Karen, okay? Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. I don't know if you guys know this, but worry is a pretty worry is pretty much a ridiculous emotion. It doesn't help. And worry is always future-based. And so what comes in, worry is future-based, and it's based on a past event or a situation or an experience that happened to us that gets buried into our unconscious. So then when those emotions or a similar situation comes up again, then we have learned worry as a coping mechanism, but worry is future paced and we never know what the future is going to hold. So when we get into worry, worry is not, a, 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 I, I used to say, um, that I, I didn't like the judgment of things being bad or good. Okay. That's very judgmental. And I'm trying to get you away from that. So then I changed it to healthy or unhealthy. And now I have changed my language to where it's forward leaning or backward receding. And that's my new language now. So I am always looking to make changes or to make um, uh, experiences in my life that are going to be forward leaning, right? So raising my vibration instead of moving back on my vibration. So one of the things is worry is a move away from emotion, not a move toward emotion. So talking to your angels and guides, that's a move toward emotion. Doing the two-time breathing, that's a move toward emotion. Going for a long walk when you're concerned or you, know, you don't know what to do with that worry energy because it's just excess energy that needs to be discharged, go for a walk. You know, There's a million other things you can do besides worry. Um, and I would suggest, I would humbly, humbly suggest that you do any other of them that is toward leaning than worry. Okay. Okie dokie. Very good. Okay. Laura, Laura, yay. I'm going to pull a card for you. Life purpose card, Laura, 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 life purpose support. So this is great, Laura. This is a card that you need to know. And I know you've done much better job understanding that you do have support around you. You do have people that care very deeply about you. You do have the ability to speak well for yourself. So when you are seeing your doctors or you're seeing anybody that you need that is on your medical support team for whatever you've got going on, because I know there's some things going on, or at least there was, I don't know if they've been fixed and taken care of, feels like they're still ongoing, that, you know, opening up your throat chakra 
being able to speak up for yourself in a very loving way, very kind way that just says, okay, what does that, let me clarify, what does that mean? Okay, um, do I understand this correctly? Or as I understand this, you know, those are all those things because you have a good team of people around you and you have a good team of support and they want to help you. They want to see you live your best life and you've got it, you can do that. Your life purpose fully supports you. You just need to be able to help them help you, right? How do I help? You know, what can I do to help you? That's kind of what it is. So what you need to do or what would be good for you to do is use that, open up that throat chakra of yours and use that voice in the best way so you can be vulnerable, right? Asking people for help and telling them exactly, exactly specifically how they can support you. Okay, cool. Okay, Carolyn, we're going to keep going. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. Okay, you guys, I'll try to keep it, keep going. Um, animals. So Carolyn, duh, I love this the way it comes up. Your life purpose involves animals. So you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively, trust your inner guidance as animals are part of your life work. So duh, there's, <laughs> there's my friend, there is nothing more that I need to say here. There's no extra teaching, no extra lesson, no extra channeling, just, you know, this is like, I'm laughing. This is what I call the hello McFly, hello McFly, where Biff hits him on the head because it's so obvious. This is a really obvious one and you know it. So good job. Okay, we're gonna move on. Kathy, here we go. Kathy, you're the next one. Let's see what your life purpose is. Flowers, interesting. I haven't gotten this one before, Kathy. Flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. So Kathy, have you been doing your jewelry, girlfriend? Have you actually been sitting down and doing your creative work? I really wanna know, please drop it in the chat and let me know if you've been doing that. This is, you know, I hear that you garden. I hear that you like to dig in the dirt, all of that kind of stuff. You like to use your herbs when you're cooking, all of those things. But I'm also hearing that this is a beautiful time of year right now to get into that jewelry stash of yours, pull some flowers out, make some flower earrings and do some stuff and get them out in the world for others to be able to see and feel and hear and touch and taste and all of that kind of stuff. Well, I guess they can't taste a flower, um, you know, but all of those things and put them out in the world, okay? Whether you have to sell them, give it away, go online, don't worry about the wear, just make, okay? Make, make, make and flowers. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's see, Vicki, you're next. Leadership, this is not, again, this is another duh card. I love the way they're coming up with these cards. Um, it's so obvious to me. It's kind of like, okay, do I really need to pull cards? I could actually not pull a cards, go into every single one of you and probably give you the exact same card because they come up and they're ringing so true. So take charge of the situation. Um, Vicki, you're born, you are a born leader. You are a natural born leader. You know it. You have always been a natural born leader. You are very calm, cool, and collected. Um, when things happen, you are able to just clearly zero in on what the problem is. You're clearly able to look at the solution and you are able to move the crap out of the way. So whatever you are planning to do, I know you have a job right now that you're working. You love it because you can control your own schedule, all of those things. If you are giving an opportunity in your career or even in your own sisterhood circles or anything that I know you're thinking about creating, which would be phenomenal for you, anything that you can do that is going to elevate you post COVID into leadership is going to serve your soul purpose. It's going to serve your heart. It's going to serve your higher self and it's going to be successful. So girlfriend, go for it. The world needs you and they need your leadership ability. And the world needs strong women who know what, how to say what they say and know what they mean, say what they want. And that is you. That is absolutely you. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see who else I'm missing. Stacy, Stacy, I haven't seen you in forever. Oh my gosh, girlfriend, you have not been here. So, okay, Stacy, it's your turn. Ready? Options. 
consider the career possibilities open to you. So that's an interesting card that you got. Stacy. I haven't checked in with you for a while, so I'm not really sure what you're doing. I know you were doing your jewelry for a while, and then I know you were doing some drawings and some other things because you were taking care of, I, I believe it was elderly parents, right? Um, but you were doing some other things right now. So I, I'm hearing that you have the whispers of your soul for change as well. And there are things that you're wanting to do and there's things you're wanting to experience. You and Kelly Gustis should be talking right now and Candy, I swear. Um, you guys all need to get into a little group together, but options um, because there is something else out there for you and to weigh your options. And Stacy, ask your team to show you opportunities and options, because I'm feeling like there is something that is just kind of like, if this is you, there is something that is just, it's still kind of within your peripheral vision, and there's something that's there, but it hasn't quite clicked into place yet, and you haven't quite put two and two together. So it's kind of like in your realm, in your sphere, but not in your realm of possibility, and definitely not in your realm of probability. So start kind of looking around. I want you to like, kind of, you know, put your hands out here, like literally put your hands out here and then turn your head here and turn your head the other side and ask your team of guides and angels and your higher self to show you what's in each hand and try to see what those options are. Okay. It feels like it's just out of reach, but the reality is it's right here. Okay, it is. It's right here. Okay. Cool. Okay, Hitomi, let me know who else I haven't done yet. Okay. So um, uh, let's see who else I need to do. I think Ken. Um, so I think Ken. Oh, Christy's here. Oh my gosh, you guys. So many people are here that haven't been here. That's amazing. Amazing. Okay. Um, so, okay. So, Ken, you're next. Protected. Love this card, Ken. Definitely Archangel Michael right there. Another version, my big dog, my favorite one, the one I bring in for every reading that I had for Protected. Uh, you are safe and supported while you change your career. <laughs> you are safe and supported while you change your career. So Ken, I am not going to call you out in public right now, my friend, but you and I both know what that means. And I am just going to let this one go. And for you, it's not actually a change in career. It's just an embracing of what you do in a way that is going to be forward leaning as opposed to backward moving. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm getting again, that thing you and I talked about, if you have not done that yet, my friend, you are missing the boat and I'm going to get on a plane and I'm going to drive to Indiana and I'm going to just like take you and just shake you. If you're not doing that thing we talked about because you need to be okay. That's me. It's me being a badass right now. It's me being your friend and telling you, okay, get moving, get moving because my guides and angels were right on and you're protected. Okay. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Okay. Awesome. Christy, you are the next one. Let's get to this. And then I'm going to have to close this up because it is 1208. And anybody I didn't get to, you can email me. So Christy artist. Okay. Artist engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. Duh, McFly, hello. <laughs> Girlfriend, are you having the energy to make your art? Are you taking some time for yourself? Have you been doing, you know, maybe it's time for a retreat, okay? Um, I don't have anything coming up right now. I haven't got anything planned, but I am planning something for 2023. Um, and um, uh, that's it. So just make sure that you're taking care of you and you are feeding your inner artist because for you, that's a non-negotiable. You can't be you and you can't do what you do in your healing career unless you take time for yourself to create, okay? Okie dokie, let's see. Um, I think that's it. Patty can, oh, Patty. Okay. Patty, I'm going to pull you really quick. And I think that's it. Patty, Victoria, Ashley, Deborah, Tammy, Katie. Okay. Hitomi, can you go through them again? One more time. I'm going to pull Patty right now. And then you let me know who else didn't get one and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Mm, okay. Patty, let go. Okay. 
walk away from the situation in order to resolve it, let go. You can see that the unicorn is actually bowing right now. She's holding a little dog. So that's a loyal thing. And the unicorn is bounding. So if she's holding little dog, all I can tell you right now, Patty, is I feel, and this is life purpose only for energy for today. This isn't grand life purpose. Okay. This is the today energy. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. You have somebody in your life that you have been extremely loyal to, extremely loyal. And this person may not have been loyal as loyal back to you. And you're starting to see the signs of that. You're even starting to wonder if this person is actually truly a narcissist. And you're knowing that there's a little bit of toxicity coming out and you're not quite ready to cope with it. And so um, it's causing some problems and some issues for you right now. And really it's one of those, what they're saying is walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. So if you need more on that, Patty, and you want to go in any further, and if I am right on, and this is what's happening to you, I would really suggest that you book a reading with me, okay? And we can really delve into this issue if you want to. That's the soul stir magic. And I love stirring it up. Because when we stir it up, we get to clarity and clarity is where the magic happens. Okay. Okay. So let's see as, as far as I can see that last left is who I have left on my list. Okay. So Patty, we got to Victoria. Okay. Victoria, let me pull a card. Body work, Victoria, body work. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy and healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Girl, I know that's not what you're doing right now, but this is something, and you're young, but if this has interest to you and if it holds interest, if Reiki holds interest to you, if um, other kinds of energy healing holds interest to you, just keep that in your reserve, keep that in your bubble and just know that if that is a whisper of your soul, as you continue to grow and age and move, this might be called into your field, right? Our field of awareness and it might be a really great move for you down the road to get into some form of body work. And of course, I love that heart tattoo with a Celtic heart, heart tattoo. So, and you and I both know what the heart is and that is, okay? Okay, so Ashley, let's pull a quick card. Energy healing. So Ashley, we're on energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are, are an important part of your life purpose. I don't know if you have studied Reiki yet, but I am a huge fan of Reiki energy because it is the subtlest form of energy work. I call it acupuncture without the needles. You can do it on pregnant people. You can do it on, um, uh, you can do it on people with cancer. You can do it on people who have had back surgeries and back pain. You can do it on um, animals, right? So there's a need for animal healing, for sure. I just want you to know in case you're looking for a job there. Um, I know a lot of people that want to have animal communicators because they are dog moms and cat moms and they love their animals and they want so badly to know what their animals are doing and feeling. So there is a feel, believe it or not, it's a niche, but there's a field for animal healing as well. So energy healing. So if that, if that is anything that um, appeals to you, your team, my team is saying that that would be a good area of study for you. Okay. Okay. Victoria, Ashley, Deborah, <laughs> Deborah, Oracle cards. Okay. So Oracle cards, you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So you guys, there's so many ways on Hay House. If you are interested at all in learning about Oracle cards, all you have to do is get a deck that resonates with you and just get one. Um, I know Candy got one, the Sacred Rebels deck, and she really was resonating with that. And it was really helping to open up her intuition. So just ask for a deck and just get one and come in and just start building it and do it for yourself. And then once you do it for yourself, you can, you know, try to pull cards for your friends and your family and those kind of things. That's how I started started pulling cards, went around and started asking everybody I could, hey, can I do a reading on you? Hey, can I do a reading on you? Hey, can I pull cards? And I just had to start practicing. It's just like uh, making art. You just have to start somewhere. And Oracle cards are one of the best places to start. Okay. Uh, Tammy, we're going to get to you. And then we are going to, Tammy and Katie, I'm going to try to rip, whip this out. This is a long one today. Um, Tammy, Heart's Desire. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. You and I don't have to have much more of a conversation about that one. You know, heart's desire. 
Um, you are doing very, very good post COVID of knowing what you want, what you really, really want and living your dreams. And I bow to you for doing that because you inspire me to be able to do that as well. Okay. And then Katie, you're the last one for today. And if anybody else popped on and uh, you came in and didn't get a reading, you will have to email me uh, soulstormagic at gmail.com and I will pull a card for you. So the last one, Katie, is author. So girlfriend, it's time to write that book. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be, be expressed. Make that time to write it. You have your business and the way you help parents and what you have been through. And I think you have a book on you on how to parent through major challenges and how to manage your own um, physicality, your own things that are happening to you while you are also the parent of young children and how be able to take care of self, take care of them, take care of others and what you've learned from that. So, you know, parenting when you're in crisis, uh, physical crisis, a physical crisis mode, I think would be an incredible, amazing book for you. Okay. Ooh, okay, you can see why I don't do life purpose cards very much often. As Hitomi said, that was 21 readings today. The deck of what I read is actually equal to the deck that is left. I don't do this very often. This is my May Day gift to you. This is my gift to all of you for my two-year anniversary of Soulstar Magic. And it was a gift that I was very happy to give because again, Soulstar Magic would not be successful without you. I would not be successful without you. And it is my pleasure and honor to be able to read 21 readings for you today. So, okay.